In the late 70s, Apple co-founder Steve Jobs embarked on a spiritual journey to India. His quest led him to Neem Karoli Baba, a revered Hindu guru known for his teachings on love and service. Steve Jobs was deeply inspired by Baba's wisdom and compassionate nature. When Steve Jobs finally met Neem Karoli Baba, he was moved by the guru's presence and profound insights. Baba's message of simplicity and spirituality resonated deeply with Jobs, shaping his future philosophies and approach to life. Steve Jobs' spiritual journey to India and his encounter with Neem Karoli Baba were pivotal moments that influenced his personal and professional development. Their meeting was a testament to the power of seeking truth and guidance in unexpected places. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more inspiring stories. Hello. In 1974, a young Steve Jobs read a book called Be Here Now by Ram Dass, a famous American psychologist who later became a disciple of named Karuli Baba. In this book, Ramdas mentioned how his meeting with named Karuli Baba transformed his life. After reading the book, Steve, who was working an ordinary job at the time and also had a drug problem, decided to travel to India with all his savings to meet named Karuli Baba in Kanchidam Nenital. Unfortunately, named Karuli Baba had taken Mahasamadhi a few months prior. Steve visited Baba's temple in Ashram, Kanchidham Nenital. He spent a little over seven months in India and then returned to the US with a clear purpose in life. In 1976, a little over a year after coming back from India, he founded Apple Computers, and the rest is history. Decades later, when Mark Zuckerberg, who considered Steve Jobs his mentor, sought his advice to make an important decision, Steve suggested that he should visit Named Karuli Baba's temple. In Nenital. Before things were really going well and we had hit a tough patch and a lot of people wanted to buy Facebook and thought we should sell the company, I went and I saw one of my mentors, Steve Jobs, and he told me that in order to reconnect with what I believed as the mission of the company, I should visit this temple that he had gone to in India early on in his evolution of thinking about what he wanted Apple in his vision of the future to be. We will get back to Steve Jobs and Ramdas in a bit, but first let's explore the life of Namid Karuli Baba. Namid Karuli Baba, or Maharaji, was one of the greatest Indian mystics of the 20th century. He is known to be a man of incredible aura and mystic powers, who taught millions of people and brought them closer to their purpose in life. And not just Indian devotees, his followership is worldwide. Besides the biggest tech titans like Steve Jobs and Mark Zuckerberg, his list of followers also include global icons like Julia Roberts. Hinduism is something that I'm very intrigued by and very interested in. Where did it come from? Where did the interest come from? Um, it came from seeing a picture of a guru called named Karuli Baba. And I was so drawn to the picture of this person, and I didn't know who he was or what he was about, but felt a very strong interest. Baba attained enlightenment by the age of 17 and became a phenomena in northern India over a short period of time. He was an ardent devotee of Lord Hanuman and even established more than 100 temples devoted to him.